So this is about classifying organisms and what that means is I'm putting living things into different groups and what you need to know is that all living things are put into five different groups and they are animals, plants, fungi, protists and prokaryotes and they're the five and we're going to look at them more closely now. So there are five kingdoms of organisms. Animals are made of many cells, they're multicellular, they're heterotrophic feeders, means they need to eat other things. They don't have cell walls, but they do have a nucleus in their cells. Plants are also multicellular, but they make their food by photosynthesis. We say they are autotrophic because they, uh, they make their own food and they have chloroplasts. They also have cell walls made out of cellulose and their cells also have a nucleus. Fungi are also multicellular, so they're like mushrooms and toadstools, but they're saprophytic feeders, um, which means they live off decaying matter. They have cell walls, and their cells do have a nucleus too. Protists are kind of a mixed bunch of things, uh, uh, organisms. They're mostly multicellular, and their cells do have a nucleus. Unlike prokaryotes, like bacteria, which are unicellular, they're made of one cell and they have no nuclei. Their DNA floats around in the cytoplasm. Watch out, viruses are not classified as living organisms as they do not grow and they do not feed. There are seven different levels of classification. We've already talked about kingdom. The next one down is phylum then class, then order, then family, then genus, and then species. You'll notice that the combination of the genus name and the species name gives um, an organism its binomial name. So for instance, a lion is called Panthera leo. We can also see how closely animals are related to each other by looking at this. We can see that lions and tigers are more closely related to each other because they're both of the same genus. Um, looking at this donkey here, that is of a completely di different genus than the other two. The donkey is of the genus Equus, but the lion and the tiger of the genus Panthera.